everybody welcome back to my channel today uh, we are gonna do a nice hike over here in um, the Elkmont uh, campsite area of the Great Smoky Mountains we're gonna do Jake Creek to Cucumber Gap because it depends what you look at on what the trail name is um, then we're gonna hit a oh, little river and come back down so it's gonna be a loop it's about uh, five or some 5.4 miles. Um, we're gonna add a little bit to Jake's Creek though because I have a little cabin I want to show you guys that's tucked away. So we're gonna go a little actually past the turning point and go find that and then keep on trucking. Um, thank you so much for joining me and my weird little ventures on my weird little channel. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Also, random fun fact. Taven and I almost got married here. Um, this is where we looked at using the Appalachian, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I don't know. But it's, it's just down there where you see all the buildings. <sighs> I can't think of the name of it. It's driving me nuts. Appalachian. It's not a like courthouse. I don't know. Anyways, I might show a little clip of it after the hike, kind of wander down there and show that and then Spencefield Cabin is here too which is another spot we were thinking of using we were kind of going to do both we were going to do um Spencefield uh, uh Spence Spencer Cabin I'm sorry for um like the ceremony because it's really pretty and it would have been on the water and then we would have used the Appalachian Clubhouse <laughs> Clubhouse um for our reception but we didn't end up doing that because it would have been a heck of a drive for people and stuff, but it was really affordable and it would have been pretty neat to do. But anyways, here I am. We are now approaching the trailhead. So these are chimneys of old homes that used to be here. Back on trail. This is actually paved area, um, which is kind of, kind of cool, kind of not. I don't know if you're anything like me. Uh, concrete kind of kills my legs more so than uh, earth. But looks like we're gonna pass a few more chimneys here. And, oh, and a little home thingy. Um, I will throw those in the camera now.
I think we could possibly go in, but I don't think the foundation's very good and I don't feel like it's a very safe thing to do, so I am not going to. But it's a pretty cool looking place. On the road again. This is the loop we are doing. So we're going to be coming back down this one. Um, there. And this is the way we're going now. I didn't get far and found another sign. You can actually hike all the way to the sinks from here, which I find actually pretty cool. I could not do that without a car there on the other side, but. All right, back to the way we're supposed to go. cool. This tree has one base, but four trees come out of it. Crazy. So this is a nice little incline I am going up at the moment and um, 
took a little breather here. I'm looking at this nice little water. So. Haven makes fun of me all the time because I'm a ballet dancer and I can't get across the creek to save my life. <laughs> I almost took my shoes off and just walked right through it. But you can't really cross, especially after it's raining. It's been raining like it has been, like right in front of the trail. So I kind of scooted back, you know, across here. And then I kind of hopped over slowly because, like I said, I suck at <laughs> these cross crossings for some dumb reason. a campsite I spy a trail sign yay guys funny story not so funny I actually wasn't planning on doing this many miles today I <laughs> don't know how I did it but that intersection sign I was showing you I thought that doesn't seem right at all well come to find out I pulled up the all trails map on my phone which is really handy to have and if you can uh, download that I recommend it uh, it took a little bit for it to find my location but um, I did all of Jake's Creek Trail so the I'll show you best I can on my phone but let's see I know you probably see me more than anything but that blue dots where I am so I did all of that and that's my loop that I was supposed to do over here and I don't know what I did. Sorry, my battery died. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I did or how I did it. Um, but yeah, on my way down, I will keep a better eye on my map on my phone and hopefully find the trail. And I guess I'm doing a, a lot more miles than I had planned. I, I thought I was just going, going, going and not to complain, but I drank a little bit too much last night and it was just killing me the up 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 and I'm like man I can't believe I haven't made it where I want to go yet and so yeah now I gotta go backtrack I'm gonna backtrack down Jake's Creek and then try to find where I went wrong and then do the proper loop um kind of wish I had more water with me anyways so let's keep on trucking <laughs> Uh, when I was up there before I, it, before my phone finally found my location, I had service, so I tried calling work because my coworker is the person that told me about this hike, and she said there was a cabin somewhere. If I didn't turn too soon uh, to do my loop, if I went up Jake's Creek some, and not to mention she has a. Uh, the trail maps for the national park sitting at her desk. And I'm like, some, I wanna say, I don't know where that cabin is. Um, I'm hoping I find it. If not, 
Uh, it's probably just not gonna be in the video. Um, but they were busy and I didn't wanna like tie up their time and their phone line and my phone finally found my location. So that was good. Uh, Cause otherwise I wouldn't, wouldn't have had any clue where I went wrong. And I was just thinking how funny it is because I'm pretty sure I showed you guys every trail sign that I passed. And somebody watching this has probably done this trail before, possibly even this loop, and saw me pass that sign and was sitting there thinking and telling me, uh, no, you're going the wrong way. You just totally effed up. Um, so in my head, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm such an idiot because I can't believe I, I filmed like everything and somehow I'm, I just kept going straight and here I am going back down. So anyways, this is what my mind is thinking about as I retrace my steps. <laughs> All right, so I think I found that cabin she was talking about, but there's no way, no way I'm going to it because I haven't even, I'm not even back to where I'm supposed to do my loop yet. And I really, really wanted to do that and see Husky Falls and stuff. So. Um, I don't know if you can see it with the GoPro because I don't have a zoom on it, but it's over there. It's that tin roof that you see. Um, so on this little like way down, down there and there's some steps. And I'm assuming you cross the water down there and then you work your way up to the little tin roof over there. If I hadn't already done the miles that I have, I would go over there and check it out. If I can find any photos of it, or if um, Megan, my coworker, doesn't mind sending me one of her and her family being there, I will post that up on this video. Um, I'm really feeling pretty stupid because I have a feeling I know where I was supposed to turn. And <laughs> I can't believe I did over seven miles for nothing um but i guess it is for something i added another trail to my ventures to all the trails that i've done so i i can't say for nothing i like i'm glad i did it because i love doing whole trails anyways but now i still have i don't know let me think somewhere around I don't know, I'm awful at math. I would probably say four miles to go <laughs> uh, to do that loop. So it ended up being a decent mileage day. So if, uh, if doing all of Jake's Creek is 3.7 and then I probably have about four left of my loop. Um, some probably talking about somewhere along 11 miles, yeah. My booty's already hurting. So, it's gonna be a long day. It's already two o'clock. Um, good thing the sun sets later and because daylight savings is this week. Um, it'll have gone done past by the time you guys watch this video, but um, yeah, thank God for that because I'll be getting it out probably somewhere around dusk, I have a feeling, which doesn't bother me, I enjoy. I enjoy being out here for as long as I can. It's just, <laughs> I wasn't mentally prepared today <laughs> at all. But I am back to the intersection where I said you could make it all the way down to the sinks, which is there, which was just past the sign I am looking at up ahead that um, said that little river trail. And I remember I said, Oh, I think this is where it'll take me out. Hey. Obviously, if I did, like if I went all the way up to where I was, um, I would have made a left and I would have done that um, ridge trail, would have taken me kind of towards the AT and then I could have linked back up with this trail. But when I looked up that loop, it was a backpacking loop and it was, I think, 18 miles. <laughs> so anyways, I, that's how I knew I was in the wrong spot. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I'm back where I started at the sign. Hmm. 
that's my trail. Yay! Give my booty a smack because it's uh, killing me. So, 2.3 miles of that and then it'll kick me back out. Hopefully back down to the road. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's supposed to. It's supposed to be a loop. But, um, this might be a part two. <laughs> might part two this. Make two videos out of this because... I think one might be too long, but I'm on the right path, and it's probably about 2.20, I would think. I'm not going to pull out my phone and look, because I don't want to know in a way, <laughs> um, but yeah.